Hi, and welcome to another episode of Island Homes. I'm your host, Stephanie Watkins. This week, I'm touring a home that's located near a wildlife sanctuary. The result is a contemporary home that blurs the line between indoors and outdoors. The approach to the front door of this Frank Lloyd Wright inspired home is rich with a park-like feel and even has a unique retractable walkway that runs on underwater hydraulics. Hi, I can see you through the door. Nice to see you. I like your moving deck out there. That's oh, pretty thanks. neat. No, no, it's fun. It's well, if fun. We didn't, we didn't want you here, it wouldn't have been open. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you want me here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah come on in. I'll Thank show you. you. Thank you. Yeah. The open space of the entrance flows straight through to the wall of windows at the back of the house. A few carefully chosen decorative elements grab attention at the entry, including an elaborate lighting fixture within a domed recess. But the open, uncluttered appeal of the space allows the unique home design and nature itself to be the focus, an ideal that is key in Harold and Mary Ann's vision. When we put in this massive um, commercial type of window, it kind of set the standard for the rest of what we were going to do because now we've got something very big and in your face, so we had to kind of keep with that when we did the rest of the house. So therefore we have four large glass doors, uh, large uh, rock walls. Yeah, the rock wall and the entrance, we, we, that's a lot of Frank Lloyd Wright influence comes in that sort of thing and bringing the outside environment inside and vice versa so that it does, that landscaping can flow into the house and back, back out again. This home and property sit right on the bay and enjoy an unobstructed oceanic view. A lengthy back deck also takes full advantage of the perfect panorama that comes with being right on the water's edge. So all of this is the 80 acres of the Federal all, Wildlife all of, Reserve? All of this area is. Oh, okay. And then this is just part of the estuary. And this is private oh. land and it's uh, protected land. This property is about two and a half acres in size, but with 80 acres of Federal Wildlife Reserve in the back, it feels like it goes forever. Taking a closer look inside the home's great space, we find an inviting and contemporary kitchen with deep brown cabinets and light granite countertops. Designed to be both functional and take full advantage of the views, this kitchen is a perfect fit. A few unique curves also highlight the home's lines and angles. So how do you like looking in this kitchen? I love it. I really do. Um, there's lots of space here, so Harold and I like to cook together. So we, we have lots of room. We don't get in each other's way. It works really well. Whoa, that looks so good. Did you make this from scratch? No, I didn't. <laughs> You bought it. That's how I do dessert. Yeah. I just buy it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I just wanted to point out our, the fireplace. Um, we got all this, this rock from Fairwinds uh, off a project, and our son, who had never done any rock work before, actually handpicked every one of them, and you can see how it's on an angle there, yeah. up, up the wall, and this large mantle here came right off our property here. Harold dug it up with the machine. So we incorporated that all in. Harold cut it to fit, yeah. and um, we're really proud of it. It looks great, and it's the same rock as the entrance. Yes, yes, it's all from the same area. Good. One of those results from a weekend away and talking too much, and then cost us another week's work. For those of you who just can't get enough, we just can't give up. Harold says they plant a lot of the design while vacationing, including the wetland that draws the wildlife in. So we decided to take down some old dikes and. Uh, and create a f habitat for uh, the wetlands and through consultation with biologists and ocean fisheries and, and we uh, ended up determined to uh, mimic some of the natural estuary and enhancing it and bringing it into our property back to similar to what it was before and plus some extra. Well, of course we're ecstatic about the wildlife that, that's chosen to, to live here with us. Um, it, we, every day we look out the window and we, we're fascinated by something. 
wanting to share their In the Estuary home with guests, Harold and Marianne also designed two self-contained guest suites ready to supplement their retirement as vacation rentals. We wanted to try to incorporate everything that we like to have when we go someplace. So each suite has, has its own private um, feeling to it. Both of the home suites come with their own private decks, and this one has an amazing view of Nanus Bay. But a feature I like is the jet at tubs, perfect for outdoor relaxation. Definitely here to stay. We've had a lot of fun um, working on this project. We've been sitting on the beach in Mexico for three years now. For well, you sit on the time. beach and I sit in the shade and draw, so that's yeah. what happens. Yeah. So, so it works out good for both of us. Fantastic tour. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Anytime. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks for nice coming. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too there, Harley. <laughs> And if you'd like to see your home featured on the show, all you have to do is send us an email. It's islandhomestv at shaw.ca, and maybe I'll be at your house next time. Like so many communities across Canada, Port Alberni is struggling with a shortage of physicians. But the Alberni Family Medical Clinic is hoping to help fill some of the gaps with a temporary drop-in clinic. Yeah. 